Good evening. Welcome to Northwest Tonight with Becky Barr. And Roger Johnson, our top story. 75 years since D-Day, this region remembers those who lost their lives for our freedom. It was a quarter to six on that morning in June when the little ships took to the sea. Loaded with men of all nations, the vanguard to set the world free. One of the uh, greatest uh, events, the veterans, they're all in the 90s now. And, uh, you know, in the future they won't be there, so it has to be carried on. Without their sacrifice, might have been completely different and we should always remember that. Uh, if we look at the phrase, uh, less we forget, I think it becomes more paramount and more meaningful as the years and the decades go by. They were guarded aloft by the Air Force and covered each side by the fleet. Each clad man was sure of his task in smashing the foe he would meet. I think it's really remembering our ancestors and what they sacrificed for all our families and we really need to remember them because they're such an important part of history. It's very important because if it weren't for them, we wouldn't be here and we should appreciate what they did for us. It's extremely important um, just to remember the sacrifice but also to make people aware of the things that are still happening today and wars that are going on around the world. The sea was white-crested and angry as the little craft closed into line. But the Royal Marines, who were forming the crew, were undaunted by wave top or brine. It makes me feel proud that they have been so brave to fight for our freedom in the future. When I think of D-Day, I think of sacrifice and freedom. The worst thing um, that could happen would be us forgetting um, the huge price they had to pay. We just, we're really grateful to be here right now. Save those who were sunk by gunfire or stake and had perished for liberty. Any now the invasion is over and soon will be talked of no more. Still, I know that Glenurn will never forget that day June the 6th, 44. Some of the uh, commemorations around the region today, and Sasha O'Neill was reading that poem. There was a time.